Ni iha, ni tuanya ne, Jessa Calderon. I am Tongva and Shumash, currently residing in the Los Angeles County area. I am a hip hop artist, singer, songwriter, rapper. I'm a poet. I am a massage therapist. I am an energy worker. I do hypnotherapy, past life regressions, and ultimately just work on helping the community to heal mind, body, and spirit in many different aspects and works. I am also a proud mother of one. And today I'm presenting some songs that I have written. And because everything is happening in this cyber way, I will not be using music. I will be singing a cappella. So the first song that I would like to present to you is a song called Scars of a Warrior. They called us Mission Indians. And this song for me personally uh, represents my family line. And I know when writing this song, many people from California would hear the song and be able to relate to it. But my reasoning behind the song was one, for healing, two, to bring a greater understanding to people who now live in California and call California home, because all too often our histories have been removed or kind of rewritten. And so this is a way for me to share with you bits and pieces of what actually happened here through the lens of a particular uh, child that we follow through this song. Sweet faced child clinging to mommy's skirt. This will be hard many times a day. You will hurt. I stand by you while this mistreatment is endured. I witness everything, placing my hand on your heart as they force you to your knees. The butt of a gun to your face, whips lashing your back till you bleed. Missionaries beat you to take on their civilized ways. Look in the Bible, pick a name, forget your way of life is what they say. But you will remember mommy's words always for it is i whispering them in your ear telling you to stay strong and never show your fear the once a week rapes are only temporary one day you leave this man-made hell the trauma within you'll always carry but i'll help you heal yourself for now the strength you carry is your only way out you don't define me by what you say ancestors stand behind me so i'll be brave the pain you inflict is temporary the evil in your eyes no it doesn't scare me you don't define me by what you say ancestors stand behind me so i'll be brave the pain you inflict is temporary the evil in your eyes no it doesn't scare me guns drawn to your people's dome gotta sign away what they don't even own the motherland known as home forced into dry acres where very little grows set the yearning to have your life back before these pirates hopped off their ships to attack exploiting free natural everything selling for a fee pour concrete in your rivers and poison out your streams they'll tell you children this is living this is how it's gotta be force you into schools for religion where you're getting beat food is rotted food is scarce call you savages tell you nobody cares they say your skin is ugly you're stupid and disgusting said you of a failure tell you that you're nothing but great spirit keeps saying that you're something saying that you're something you don't define me by what you say ancestors stand behind me so i'll be brave the pain you inflict is temporary the evil in your eye no it doesn't scare me you don't define me by what you say ancestors stand behind me so i'll be brave the pain you inflict is temporary the evil in your eye no it doesn't scare me you don't scare me no you don't scare me 
They speak vulgar, spitting in your face. Treat you as an object, call you a disgrace. When you leave this place, you'll still be fighting for your life. We're fighting depression. Won't give up on creator, but you'll second guess him. Try to love, finding it hard. Pain is deep. Want to heal your scars. Share the past with your grandkids. Tell them to be proud of who they are. The colonizer's evil intentions were to force your traditions to be suppressed. But like I said, I wouldn't let you forget. Now plant these seeds in your grandbabies and watch what grows. The culture will revive, reap what you've sown. Problems won't just dissolve, they'll face hate too. But they won't back down because you showed them the truth. Yeah, the truth will set you free. N-A-T-I-V-E you don't define me by what you say ancestors stand behind me so i'll be brave the pain you inflict is temporary the evil in your eyes no it doesn't scare me you don't define me by what you say ancestors stand behind me so i'll be brave the pain you inflict is temporary the evil in your eyes no it doesn't scare me you don't scare me the ancestors showed me the truth you don't scare me and i know that that scares you you don't define me by what you say ancestors stand behind me so I'll be brave. Thank you. So that song definitely is a look into the eye of the mission system and what has occurred here with the natives, but it also trickles down into what happened with the American system and how they forced the treaties upon us, all of which, most of which they have not honored, all of which they haven't honored. And um, then it trickles down into our generations, those of us who have gained these insights and downloads through spiritual understanding and through stories told and given to us from our elders and loved ones and knowing that it's time for us to heal you know, as a peoples, it's time for us to heal. And that's the only way that we're going to really make it in this world that really was created against our favor and against our wishes and one that we don't feel we belong in. You know, the truth of the matter is this is our homelands. California Native people, you belong despite what the first governor of California said about bringing death to us, you belong and you are beautiful and you are strong and you are worthy of everything good in life. And so for me to create a song like this was to just really pull that forward and in having people like me see somebody like them and feel that strength and that knowledge and that feeling of self-worth that they deserve to feel. And in writing songs like this, it's also about creating uncomfortable conversations, bringing uncomfortable truths to the table, because in having uncomfortable conversations, that's how we heal. That's how we begin to understand each other and move forward in a more positive direction. And so that's my hope in creating the kinds of music that I create. So the next song that I will present, it's a song called Home of the Brave. And it's just a eye opener of how there's no such thing as a border in the native terminology. You know, even when you see ideas of what our villages were like it's almost if you put it on a map it's almost like looking at a checkerboard you know we didn't do a line in the dirt and put up a wall because we understood our relations and we had trading routes and we had things in place to work together and that should always be we should always see each other as human being 
as well as spiritual being, and nothing more or less than that. Home of the brave, not land of the free. Crooked cops on my streets steady harassing my peeps. Columbus didn't discover Isht, he was lost at sea. Therefore, my folks discovered him. There were no borders when the Santa Maria came ashore. What gives immigrants the right to tell the indigenous you can't be here no more? That's hypocrisy at its finest. I pray they'll see in America's ugliest colors. No, that doesn't define us, us indigenous people, because we too had a taste, had our culture stripped and traditions taken away. Some folks make religion far too tremendous, keep taking it to war. Religion will end us, that's not a promise or a threat. The way that we treat the world, that's simply something we can expect. If we keep moving this way, we're guaranteed regret. Said I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. Said I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. Times haven't changed, fools like Trump wanna make the indigenous go away. Illegal is the term being used freely. Know the bloodline of your family. Cause Europe isn't close, I'll walk across that Mexican border. For your land, I'll need a plane or boat. The doctrine of discovery gives the right to steal, kill, and harm. I can't fathom rape came from the word of God. Man has an urge for profit, greed, and power. Once the land's in their hands, they begin to devour. Everything is poisoned from water, food to our minds. They manipulate and you don't see it as a crime? Open your eyes, realize nothing they do benefits you. Illness stems from our modified foods and we'll inhale disease with the air that we breathe. When Earth's used up, we can't just leave. And I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. Said I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. 2020 still breeds stupidity. As much as we've advanced, we took a thousand steps back. It's the future of our children hurting. As these gases keep burning, so many lives die. To the hands of oil companies, corruption. Oil they steal, oil they spill. Then turn around like it ain't nothing. The Cree said you cannot eat money. My question to you, what will you do when you destroyed the water and land so bad? There's no water and food. Will you turn to your Bible and pray? Or heal the destruction and hate? Our actions determine our fate. Let us love and respect our mother earth before it's too late. That's the least we could do. How can you kill the one who's loved you from the womb? How can you kill the one who's loved you from the womb? I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Can't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. Said I didn't cross the border, the border crossed me. Don't call my folks illegal if yours came across the sea. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that song for me, it's very meaningful and very powerful because it connects that idea of anybody on this continent of Northern America is indigenous peoples. They are native peoples. And when you put borders, you know, colonial borders, it creates a border in the mindset, which separates us, you know, physically, when you think about it, you know, and you start going, oh, well, those people down there and all those people up there and and you forget that there's relations that were once held between our people before someone else came and stole and taken over so I wanted to share that song to remind you to keep an open heart to keep an open mind and to remember that we are all related despite who your family members are despite what your nationality background is at the end of the day, our bodies are all interned to that same Mother Earth, and our spirit is still interned to that same energy life force. Hence, we are all related. 
The next song uh, that I am going to present is a song called Injustice. And this song speaks of some injustices that have occurred on this continent. Uh, but you know, you only have so many minutes to perform the song, so of course I couldn't fit all injustices in there on behalf of Native peoples. It wouldn't be LA without Mexicans, but yo, it wouldn't be LA without Tongva land. Know where you're at. Show respect to the tribe whose lands on which you stand. Shout out my relatives showing pride with no tribal ID. Were we raised through paperwork and false history. Attempts to erase the ancestors were done so violently. It's been expressed. Americans will become the new Native American. This prophecy comes to fruition. As Michigan, all wrong, marching with torches while bitching about the history being revoked. Now where have I heard that story before? They got the cops on their side as they act in hate and violence when it's natives in prayer. Cops shooting mace, yelling, remain silent. America intended for their laws to be one-sided. Tears rolling down my cheeks as we endure injustice in these streets. The privileged don't know our pain as they take and take and force their way. Tears rolling down my cheeks as we endure injustice in these streets. The privileged don't know our pain as they take and take and force their ways. Try to remove our voices, children, and rights. They wonder why we resist on our own land. It's a struggle to exist. We get ignored, disrespected, and dismissed. Riots from blacks for similar discrepancies against the perpetrators. They tell us all to go back to somewhere. Failing to acknowledge they're the invaders. Their schools fail to teach us our truths and pride. So it's on us to keep our truths alive. Gaining our pride back in these last few decades after our grandparents were cornered into self-hatred. Our children's children will never forget about broken treaties and broken promises. They take our land, then give us land and take it away. Yet an Indian giver is what we're named. Dead silent, we will never remain. Tears rolling down my cheeks as we endure injustice in these streets. The privileged don't know our pain as they take and take and force their ways. Tears rolling down my cheeks as we endure injustice in these streets. The privileged don't know our pain as they take and take and force their ways. Fear and atrocious corporal punishment is how the European immigrants made examples of us since the 1400s. And if you think it's a thing of the past, think again. From Leonard Peltier, Orlando Watley, to Red Fawn, the system is still finding ways to falsify cases and murder our people. Let us never forget John Trudell's wife, children and mother-in-law who were burned to death in a suspicious house fire which was never investigated. John T. Williams, a woodcarver who was walking down the street carving a piece of wood, was shot four times by Seattle's peace officer Burke. Alan Locke, shot five times by Officer Mayrose in Rapid City. Neil Stonechild, Rodney Naistis, and Lawrence Wegner, who were individually abandoned in the outskirts of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, by Saskatoon police. Renee Davis, who held a gun to her own head and a magazine clip in the other hand. Paul Castaway, who held a knife to his own neck. Both shown signs of depression and clearly needed help. Both shot to death by police. These indigenous injustices get swept under the rug while those claiming to be in power continue to turn a blind eye. We are thought of and treated as animals. But the biggest mistake in that view is that all animals too are the brothers and sisters of man. Thank you. Now I understand that the last couple of songs I presented uh, may have been quite heavy, deep, and so I'll lighten it up a bit with this next song. And so this song plays as a reminder of how sacred our babies are, how special our children are, and how we need to treat them with love and treat them delicate because they are 
just beautiful individuals and as we grow into adults we start to realize that the way we were treated as children definitely paves into who we become as adults and how many of us are still healing all of those childhood traumas and let that serve as a reminder that we need to take care of these children now that they are part of our responsibility you know even our neighbors and 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 the people you see at the grocery store, you know, they were all children at one point. They are all sacred beings. And we need to come back to that understanding to respect one another and let it start with the children. I must admit, I cried due to fear when I got the news. Wasn't ready for a baby at the age of 22. Got nine months to prepare my mind itself. I think I'll be the worst mother. I'll apologize now. I'm sorry that it's me to whom you were given. All I knew was a world of evil ways and dope dealing. Now I pray for change in this world and I know if I want any change, gotta start here at home. So I began to leave my ways. Yes, for you I did try. Left all my bad habits and so-called friends behind. At my checkups, I found myself getting anxious. I'm already set on what your name is. The doctor says it's gonna be your boy. My heart was overwhelmed with love and joy. They confirmed what I knew all this time. God is good, and so is my new life. Never knew love till you went in my realm. Got a real reason to hold it down. My life has changed for the best every day. I feel so blessed. Never knew love till you went in my realm. Got a real reason to hold it down. My life has changed for the best every day. I feel so blessed. Thank you for the courage and strength I needed to change. Three months before you were a thought, we experienced a tragic loss. I had an older brother, age 23, who died. I knew that you were sent to ease the pain in our lives. You bring a smile to everyone you encounter. I'm feeling more blessed by the hour. 3.33 a.m. September 30th, 2010, a year and 19 days after my brother passing. My family was blessed with a nine pound two ounce healthy angel baby. Honor Ross Kush was my choice in naming. We knew your strength when you stood 20 minutes after birth by holding on to the fingers of the nurse. Born with dimples and a cleft chin, when you smile, you remind us that you're a true blessing. Never knew love till you went in my realm. Got a real reason to hold it down. My life has changed for the best every day. I feel so blessed. Never knew love till you went to my realm. Got a real reason to hold it down. My life has changed for the best every day. I feel so blessed. By six months, you spoke sign language. A year and some change you could complete a sentence. By two years it seemed baseball flowed through your veins. Then at three so advanced you knew more than your address and age. Recited your ABCs, phone number spelled a few words including your name. Enjoyed playing t-ball with your teammates. Every day I watch you grow. You're making me so proud. I'm kissing your face as I watch you sleep right now. I whisper in your ear. You're beautiful, so smart. Mommy loves you. You place this love in my heart. Sleep now, sleep now, baby. When you wake, I'll be here with a smile on my face, ready to welcome you back from the world of dreams. Let's get you ready. Go visit places you haven't seen. You grab my hand, look up, and smile big. I smile back and thank you for being my kid. I never knew love till you went to my realm. Got a real reason to hold it down. My life has changed for the best every day. I feel so blessed. Never knew love till you went to my realm. Got a real reason to hold it down. My life has changed for the best every day. I feel so blessed. I love my baby so much. And I really do pray that you all treat the children in your lives with love and respect but also the inner child within you because when you stop to think about it you know a lot of the traumas that we carry on today as adults stems from childhood a lot of it and when we think about that you know that gives us the opportunity to prevent that on the next generations to come so it's really important that we treat our inner child with love and care as well as these children around us in, in the entire community you know they don't have to be your blood relations to remember that we are all related and that we all affect each other in one way or another so that being said may we move forward from this point on 
you know, with love in our hearts for one another, forgiveness in our hearts for one another, and be able to just cherish the moments in our lifetimes that we have left. Because the reality is that this body, this shell, it's temporary. Although the spirit lives on, the body is gifted to us. This body is gifted to us for only a moment in time. So what are you going to do with those moments that you have, that you have left to change the world, to change your world, to make a difference in your community, you know, whatever it is that your purpose is, is here to serve, remember it. Remember it and live it. And love yourself, your community, and know that I love and appreciate you all very much. Again, my name is Jessa Calderon. You can find me on all social platforms. Uh, my music is on all music platforms uh, for Instagram. I am Jessa underscore songwriter one. Twitter and uh, Facebook, you could probably find me as typing in Jessa Calderon, but Twitter is the lovely Jessa. I'm available on YouTube. And again, when it comes to the music sites, just type in J-E-S-S-A. C-A-L-D-E-R-O-N and feel free to bump, bump, bump my music. Much love and respect, y'all. Peace out.